You beat over 15,000 applications. This was not on my radar <laughs> at all. This past summer, Maitri Ramakrishnan landed the lead role in a brand new Netflix series called Never Have I Ever. It was created by Mindy Kaling. This show will be her debut on TV. Now, if you're wondering, how did this all even happen? Well, you're about to get some answers. Today, I'll be hanging out with my tree right here at her former high school. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey. great to meet you. <laughs> How have you been? It's been good, it's been good. Do you mind showing me around? Yeah, of course. Why don't we go check out a mural that I actually painted in my grade 12 year? Amazing, let's go. Can you show me your old locker? I actually didn't have a locker in high school. It, a you had to register for it, it was a whole process. So I just kept it all in my bag. Did that not oh hurt? God. Wasn't it heavy? A little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. There it is, this is the mural. This looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You painted this? Yep, my grade 12 art exam. So what was your inspiration behind it? Well, a saying that I really like is respect existence or expect resistance. And I think everybody should be able to feel comfortable in their own skin and feel comfortable to identify how they want to in the world. Take up space, of you know? Of course, yeah. Have you made it to this drama arts board? <laughs> Let's find you. Oh yeah, this is Footloose. You did Footloose? That's so cool. Yeah, Footloose the musical is actually my first um, like project, actually. So, what character did you play in Footloose? Uh, I played Earlene. She's like one of the funny girls, like best friend of Ariel's, and yeah, the comedic relief. Love that. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to check out the drama? I would love to. Drama actually has some really cool props. Want to see one of my favorite ones? Of course. Yeah, Take a hop seat. on. Okay. Oh, yeah, just, you just, is it gonna break? You just work the throne. <laughs> Being in this wonderful drama room, what memories pop into mind? Well, uh, my first audition was here uh, for Footloose back in grade 10. That was amazing. So a lot of like my beginnings, I guess you could say, started here. You beat over 15,000 applications, which is amazing. Thank you. So in your wildest dreams, did you ever think you could land this role? Honestly, like, no, this was not on my radar <laughs> at all. And me and my best friend, uh, we just did it for fun. We were like, hey, let's hang out. This is cool that we saw on Instagram. Why not? And we did it. And then right after that, things picked up. And boom, I got the role. How was the moment you found out you landed the role? <laughs> How did you react? Well, honestly, I think I was like in shock. I didn't really process it. I still don't think I have. I think it'll <laughs> happen when the show actually comes out and I'm watching it on my TV at home then it'll hit me. Yeah. But as of like right now, and even like obviously back then, it was such a shock, it was so surreal. And I was not prepared for how much things were gonna change, you know? So how about the screen test? Were you nervous going into that? Um, I think, yeah, like to be honest, I was, but like the excited nerves, you yeah. know, like the nerves that you get before you do something that you really do wanna do. Mm -hmm. And it's just like adrenaline rushing. And of course, seeing Mindy Kaling, I was like, oh my God. That's amazing. But it was the best experience of my life. I walked out of the room literally thinking, if I don't get this, I don't even care. I'm just on the moon It right was now. just amazing yeah. experience. So even before getting cast on the show, were you inspired by Mindy Kaling as an actress? Well, The Office is my favorite TV show of all time. Of course. It's the best. And I, of course, love Mindy Kaling's work. I like The Mindy Project as well. She's really funny, really talented. So this is really surreal to be able to work with her now. When was the very first time you realized that you wanted to be an actress? I think that happened when I was in grade 12 and it came to the decision point of picking universities. Yeah. And then I realized the one thing I loved to do was coming to rehearsal every day after school. And I was like, if I could do this for the rest of my life, I would be one happy kid. What advice would you give to aspiring Canadian teens who wish to get a job like yours? Well, my advice would be to just keep trying. Never give up. If this is what's gonna make you happy, don't let anybody stop you.